This is a practice question in trigonometric values of basic angles. It's a beautiful question. Can be solved in two ways. Let's look at both the approaches. If theta is an acute angle and sin theta plus 1 by sin theta minus 1 equals root 3 plus 2 by root 3 minus 2, find the value of theta. Let's get started. The first one involves some concepts from ratio proportion. It's called the componendo dividendo rule. What is the componendo dividendo rule? If you have two fractions, p by q and r by s, such that p by q is equal to r by s. By component or dividend or rule, we can say that p plus q by p minus q is equal to r plus s by r minus s. Let's try and apply that to our case. So what is p? p is equal to sin theta plus 1. What is q? sin theta minus 1. What is r? root 3 plus 2. And what is s? root 3 minus 2. So if we have p by q is equal to r by s, in this expression left hand side, it's going to be a p plus q. So p plus q for us will be sin theta plus 1, which is p plus sin theta minus 1. So you got p plus q divided by p minus q, which is sin theta plus 1 minus sin theta minus 1. So we've written p plus q by p minus q. What is left is to write r plus s by r minus s. r is equal to root 3 plus 2 plus s is equal to root 3 minus 2 divided by r minus s which is root 3 plus 2 minus root 3 minus 2. Let's cancel whatever terms can be cancelled. The 1 gets cancelled with minus 1. So the numerator of the left hand side expression is going to be sin theta plus sin theta which is equal to 2 sin theta. In the denominator, we'll have sin theta getting cancelled with sin theta. 1 minus of minus 1 will make it as a 2. Let's look at the right hand side expression. In this case, we have a 2 and a 2 getting cancelled in the numerator, leaving us with 2 root 3 in the numerator of the RHS divided by, when it comes to a denominator, root 3 gets cancelled with root 3, 2 minus of minus 2 is equal to a 4. The 2 gets cancelled with 2, 2 gets cancelled with a 4 to leave you with a 2. So what we have is sin theta in the LHS, which is equal to root 3 by 2. In sine, what angle will correspond to root 3 by 2? Sine 60 is equal to root 3 by 2. So sine theta is equal to sine 60. We can infer theta is equal to 60 degrees. Quickly summarize this entire proceedings in a printed form. We've applied the component or dividend or rule. Let's cancel things that can be cancelled out. 1 and minus 1 can be cancelled out. Sine theta and minus sine theta can be cancelled out. We can cancel 2 and minus 2 and a root 3 and a minus 3. Minus root 3. So what we'll be having in the LHS is 2 sine theta by 2. And in RHS, we'll have 2 root 3 by 4. 2 gets cancelled with 2. 2 with a 4 to leave you with a 2. So sin theta is equal to root 3 by 2. Let's carry forward this to the next step. Sin theta is equal to root 3 by 2. In sin, what angle will correspond to root 3 by 2? Sin 60. Sin theta is equal to sin 60 or theta is equal to 60 degrees. This is method 1. Let's look at an alternative method, which is again a very, very interesting method. In this method, what we are going to be doing is we're going to be picking up this RHS and dividing both the numerator and denominator of this RHS by a 2. So what we'll be having is root 3 plus 2 by 2 divided by root 3 minus 2 by 2. So root 3 by 2 is what we'll have for the LHS. 2 by 2 will leave you with a 1 divided by root 3 by 2 minus a 1. Now what we are going to look at is we have on the LHS something that is sin theta plus 1 by sin theta minus 1. Here we have some value plus 1 divided by the same value minus 1. What angle in sin will correspond to root 3 by 2? Sin 60 will correspond to root 3 by 2. So we'll replace these root 3 by 2 with a sin 60. So you're going to have an expression root 3 by 2 plus 1 divided by root 3 by 2 minus 1, which is going to become sin 60 plus 1 divided by sin 60 minus 1. So this is our RHS. We're going to compare this RHS with the LHS of the expression. So sin theta plus 1 by sin theta minus 1 equals sin 60 plus 1 by sin 60 minus 1. So it's obvious that sin theta is equal to sin 60 or theta is equal to 60 degrees. What next? Here are two links. One to watch the previous video in this chapter and one to watch the next video in this chapter. If you liked what you saw, you could show your appreciation by liking this video and by subscribing to this channel. Thank you very much.